Good morning this Thursday, the 18th of February, as and thank you for joining me for uh, daily prayer. We begin with a brief order for daily prayer for Lent, and you will find today's lesson in 1 John, the first chapter. It is verses um, 3 through 10. Verses 3 through 10. Sorry about that. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. God, our guide and guardian, lead us on this journey of faith. Through the days of Lent, help us walk your path to the cross. Strengthen us to resist the demons that would lead us astray. Walk with us. Shepherd us, Christ Jesus. Be our shelter and our salvation, even as we seek to be your disciples. Tender shepherd, who promised to be with us always, we welcome you now into our midst and invite you to stay with us. Come be our guide, strength, and companion on our life journey. Amen. Today's reflection um, is written uh, for us by Martha Zepp, and here is the image that we are looking at today as we read our scripture. 1 John, the first chapter, beginning with the third verse. We declare to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us all from sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. This is the word of the Lord. And so the reflection today, as I said, comes to us from um, Martha Zepp. And she particularly focused on verse 5 of that reading, which says, This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. Martha writes, A little girl could not go to sleep at night. She told her mother that when she closed her eyes, she saw scary pictures like nightmares. Her wise mother put a small lamp in the room to provide light when she went to bed, and the little girl had no further problems going to sleep. Our scary pictures, COVID, health issues, financial insecurity, political divisiveness, and on and on bring darkness to our lives. John reminds us that God is light, and in him there is no darkness. If we allow Jesus to be our light, we will walk in the light and have fellowship with one another. 1 John chapter 2, verse 10 tells us, Whoever loves a brother or sister lives in the light. God's light brings us to love and to serve one another. Let us pray. Loving God, thank you for creating light in our lives. Forgive us when we let the darkness overcome light. Help us to let your light shine. Amen. Satisfy us in this day with your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Loving God, we lift up our souls and search for your promised presence. Reveal yourself to us this day in mighty mountains, in brilliant rainbows, in curious creatures, in rain showers, in joyous children, in grieving friends, in challenging scriptures, in meaningful prayers, in repentance, 
and forgiveness in love and grace. Teach us your ways. Lead us in your truth. Guide us on this Lenten journey toward the darkness of death and hope of resurrection. And today we speak now the names of those who um, are in need of prayer and the desires that strike our hearts this, this day, trusting in God's grace to weave these needs into prayer for the sake of the world. Continue to pray for Rosa Troyans and for her family, especially for Vicki, who um, balances home and uh, her, her mother's needs. We pray for those who grieve the loss of loved ones, including the McCombs family. We pray for those who are sick with COVID, and we pray for those who are caring for them. The Lord is my shepherd, I will not be in need. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for, his, for the sake of his name. Glorious God, we shall serve you with gladness and come into your presence with a song. We know that you are God, the one who has made us, to whom we belong. We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. We shall enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. We shall tell of our thanks and call upon your name, for you are good and your mercy is everlasting. Your faithfulness endures from age to age. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise God above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. May grace and peace rest upon us to guide, strengthen, and keep us as we seek to follow the way of Christ. May it be so today and always. Amen. <laughs>